that rope, that that rod that burned it, yes, and the manner that the Lord rained from heaven. He said, "Get the ark of the covenant. Tell the priest to start with the ram's horn and march around the city for a week. Make one encircling a day, and." On the seventh day, march around the wall seven times. Oh, praise his name. Watch your voice, Doc. Yeah, he said, uh, get the priest and tell him to get the ram horn and tell everybody else to get behind the priest and start walking. I need to hear somebody shout, start walking. Oh, praise The wall will fall down flat. Yes, sir. Reverend. Oh, hallelujah for the Lamb. He said, Do this for six days, and on the seventh day, make seven rounds. Now, when you read the number seven in the scriptures, numbers carry with them significance and symbolism. Oh, praise his name. The number one is for God. Uh -huh. And, oh, praise his name. The number two is for the universe. Uh -huh. The number three is the number for the Trinity. God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. The number four is the number of the earth. The Bible says there are four winds and the earth has four corners. There are four seasons, summer and fall and winter and spring. There are four points of direction, north and south and east and west. Oh, praise his name. The number five is the number for man. Oh, praise his name. You got five digits on each hand. You got five digits on each foot. Oh, praise his name. You have five systems in your anatomy. You have a muscular system. You have a skeletal breathe, system. Man, breathe. You have a nervous system. System. You have a respiratory system. Oh, praise his name. You have a circulatory system. You have five systems in your anatomy. Oh, praise his name. Six is the number of creation. When the Lord made the world, he did it in six days. Uh -huh. And on the seventh day, he rested. But he did not rest because he was tired. He rested in his own satisfaction. In that what he had set out to do, he did it not only good, but Moses said it was very good. That means the number of seven is the number of perfection. Oh, praise his name. And it is the number of satisfaction. So when the Lord told Joshua, you need to do this for seven days, and on the seventh day, make seven rounds, that means you got to march until the Lord is satisfied. You got to keep on stepping until the Lord is satisfied. You got to keep on praying until the Lord is satisfied. You got to keep on waiting until the Lord is satisfied. Go ahead and tell somebody. Go ahead and march on. Eventually, your wall will fall down. Oh, praise the name. Good evening, Pine Grove. It's been good being here with you. But I got to bid y'all good night. I need to hear somebody shout. I'm getting mine. If you're going to get yours, you need to learn how to praise God before the problem is solved. I need to hear somebody shout, praise God before the problem is solved. He told Joshua to tell the priest on the seventh day and on the seventh round, tell them to blow the trumpets and give a loud shout and then the wall will fall. I don't think you heard what
what I said. He said to tell the priest to make seven rounds. And on the seventh day, and on the seventh round, tell them to give a loud blast. And tell the people to give a loud shout. And the wall will fall. You still didn't get it. He said, in other words, tell them to start shouting before the wall fall. He said, start shouting before the problem is solved. He said, start shouting before the solution is evident. I wish I had about four of you. I'll make five who won't mind shouting in advance. I know you got a wall, but if you're not too cute, if you're not too mean, if you're not too pessimistic, go ahead Reverend. and shout ahead of time. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 